excited. Going to be talking with Colorful Keto with Dory about the Dash uh, Keto Wars, the, the cook-off that's happening. Uh, enjoying a sunny San Diego afternoon here at the Churchill Cigar Lounge with Richard, the reluctant trainer who's reluctant to get on camera. Dory is here. Uh, how do I do this? Bye. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Hello. I'm just getting all set up so I can record us, too, so we can make some clips. Nice. Nice. <laughs> How's your day? It's good. It's good. It's nice. We're not we're not experiencing the heat wave that's been going around, so. Nice. I was going to ask, are you having the heat wave? <laughs> not here. Not here. I heard that up, up north, you know. I've got a I've got a client who's in Canada on the co on the west coast and yes, it's been brutal for her the past week. So do you know what? Yes, I feel for anybody in BC. We're faring not too bad here. Um, it's starting to curb down. Mm. So today will be thirty five, which I think for you guys is ninety eight point seven. I think, mm. and then from there it goes down like we're, we're slowly creeping back down to 25 and then it will be 20 by next week and we're good <laughs> nice nice that's awesome that's awesome so dory and i are here obviously to remind everyone that keto palooza is coming up on august 21st and 22nd here in san diego get your tickets now link in bio ketopaloozaexpo.com yeah. Uh, if anyone hasn't seen, we put kind of the, the basic schedule up on the site now. So that's there. Max is here. What's up, Mag Max? Uh, Candy Ketones is here. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. But I wanted to get Dory on this live for obviously many reasons. But one big specific reason is to talk about the, the Dash, the at by Dash Keto Wars. Oh, let's get some information so to the excited. people. Yeah, tell, tell people so what this excited. is. So it kind of came about because I'm obsessed with Dash. Like, I'm kind of known as the Dash lady. I have all of the Dash machines. I'm addicted to them. And I love them and I tag them all of the time. And I eventually made friends with them. And I said, hey, we're doing an amazing event in San Diego. And I want to set up a recipe battle do you want to be involved? And they said, yes. Awesome. So they're going to send all of the machines for the competition. So it's going to be a dessert battle mm -hmm. extraordinaire. We're getting donut makers and bun cake makers and waffle makers. So you guys are going to be able to watch your favorite keto people create brand new recipes live at mm. the event and we have lifting his cake to judge and i don't know if you know anyone in the keto world who's better qualified to eat the food but i don't like i'm just gonna say i don't know anyone who's more qualified than her to do that and I should let you know, because we haven't had a chance to talk, because this was just confirmed minutes ago, literally yeah. minutes ago. We may have another judge. Well, we, he's definitely coming. So um, Chef Michael Keto is going to be coming to speak at Keto Palooza and is very excited that he heard that this event is happening. So he definitely wants to be a part of it, too. So I think this is going to be so this is gonna be so much fun. I haven't met him yet, but Richard, you told me you guys were on a wooing mission today, so I'm oh, yeah. to pull it out. <laughs> oh yeah, no, he's coming, so we'll be doing some official announcements soon, but that's a, that's a little insider information for everyone watching the live today. But you know what, I'll sneak a little info too, and I'll tell you guys, we're going to be having an official announcement about collaborating with Clapper, which is my favorite social media app. And we are going to be the first official Clapper meetup at the San Diego event. Awesome. No one else has done it yet. We will be the first event to be hosting a social media workshop about Clapper. And we're going to have stuff to give away. We just had a super exciting meeting today. So I nice. can't like, tell any details yet mm. but details coming so soon dude so soon if if people haven't heard of clapper do you want to give them a give them the elevator speech on what it is just so, so they dude, can get excited 
I do. Okay, so Clapper is brand spanking new. It literally only started in July of last year. Mm -hmm. It is a short video format. So you're able to upload up to three minute video clips. Mm. So two whole minutes longer than TikTok. Yeah. It also has a radio function, which is amazing to be able to talk to people one on one. I personally host Positive Wars Radio every Thursday. So on that, we get together and we talk about how we can increase positivity on the platform and how we can help other people. It also has a live function, like we're live, you mm -hmm. now live, you can do that on Clapper. It also has three ways to monetize. So it has a function similar to Patreon, where you can have monthly donations. It also has a tip function, very similar to, um, I would say almost like um, the Patreon function as well. And it has coins in lives. Mm -hmm. So it's brand new. It's a growing platform. If you guys haven't tried it yet, come see. I'm verified there. Like, mm. I, I hate to brag, but like, you know, I'm kind of famous. So, you know, like. Well, how could there be a fake Dory anyway? Like, you, you, you have to be verified. Like, I don't think there's anyone else anyone else in the world like, like Dory. And, I like Tiger Tail right. saying there's no kids. So, right? So Clapper, yes, it's Clapper is it? It's not ninety percent dances, is what you're telling us? No, it's not. Do you know what? It's ninety percent people sharing their real lives. So on Clapper, you're going to see videos about people hanging out with their dogs, going for walks, going for drives. Um, you're going to see people doing things like. Uh, shopping halls and hobbies and nice. making crafts. I have a friend on there who's a potter and she does live pottery throwing okay. sessions on Clapper. And if you're there and you go up live, she'll create a custom piece for you oh, cool. and you get to impact how that's created. She built for me, they're called Dory Tumblers. I love them. And we're going to be auctioning them tomorrow on Clapper. Oh, cool. So there's a lot of really cool things going on on Clapper as a platform. I don't think I've seen a brand new platform that was so promising as Clapper. I, I love awesome. it. Every day I spend more time there and less on Instagram. Mm. So if you guys are missing me and you're like, where did Dory go? <laughs> and someone asked, is it an app to download? Yes, it's an app to download. So if you are Apple, you can go to your Apple store and just search Clapper, C-L-A-P-P-E-R, or on the Google Play Store, it's the same, Clapper. If you want a direct link, send me a DM, and I will send you a direct link that you can just download it right away. Awesome. It's also in my link tree. So if you go to my link tree, it says, join me on Clapper, click on that link, it'll take you right to where you download it. I'm all about easy peasy for you. Like, I have a I have a burning question for you, Dory, knowing that you're in Canada. I'm so ready. How do you replace maple syrup? Mm. Do you know what? That's such a good question. So there are a few brands of sugar-free maple syrup. There is one that I'm able to purchase. It's not my favorite, and the sweetener is the best. So if I'm feeling energetic, I will make my mm. own maple syrup. Ooh. So I take whatever sweetener I want, and then I add my water, and I heat it up, and then I add maple flavoring extract. Fun. And I use a little bit of xanthan gum so you get that nice, mm -hmm. thick, heavy texture that you want. And I just make it. Unless I buy the other stuff, which I do once in a while, but it has sucralose, which is not mm. my favorite, favorite sweetener. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I understand. I was just wanting to make sure that it was legal in Canada for you to do that. Oh, do you know what? I would probably be flogged. I'm not mm. going to lie. Like, I don't tell people I make my own maple syrup. Mm. Like, no, no, no. That would... That would be like when Katie Lang told everyone she didn't eat beef. You mm. Yeah, I was you gonna. Know, I, that's why. This is the hard cutting journalism here on the, the Keto Palooza Instagram Live. It's now <laughs> it's now recorded for posterity. You know they're, they're coming for you, Dory. They're coming for you. Keep my secret. Like seriously, the moose are dangerous. Mm. You don't know what an armored moose can do to you. See. Like, you don't know. And that's also segues me into my my real question. 
which is what are you what are you looking forward to the most coming to San Diego? Oh, do you know what? I I've only ever been to San Diego one time. So I don't really know what's there mm. other than Keto Palooza Expo. I'm like totally down for that. But if anybody lives in the area, I will be down a few days before and after the event. And I would love a scenery partner. Like mm -hmm. if somebody wants to go around the city with me and show me cool stuff, I'm totally down. Like, and, and I also, my ulterior motive for that is to let people know that we're also building out a Keto San Diego page on the website now. So far it's burger places because that's where I got to on my list. So you're going to, it's not, okay. San Diego isn't just about burgers and bacon. It'll seem like that at the moment. I did put okay. my favorite coffee shop on there so far though. That is right near the location for Keto Palooza. So that's, that's okay. an awesome thing. But we're going to be putting some information about Balboa Park and SeaWorld, uh, Legoland. Uh, okay. Uh, there's a lot of little things to there's, do in there. And there's there's a Legoland? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And beaches and, and like good spots to check out, like even downtown, like. We want people to understand that, you know, not everyone coming to Keto Palooza is going to be a San Diegan, so it's going to be okay. a great, a great time to kind of explore. And we've got some time built into the schedule. If you want to grab lunch somewhere fun, like it's going to be a good time. Can we talk about Lego Land? Like, <laughs> um, I haven't been yet. I haven't been. Yet. They're just all reopening now, but which is the exciting thing that everything will be open when people are here. You know, so it's not right? going to be, you know. So the coffee shop that I was just talking about, someone was asking, it's called Kakawa Coffee, K-A-K-A-W-A. -A -A. It's a small local coffee shop that makes amazing nitro cold brew, which everyone who knows me knows that I'm about that. Uh, but they make okay. espresso, and they also have a, a, a chaga mushroom coffee that actually has monk fruit as the sweetener in it right Ooh. now. So you can get a keto version of that. You want to try something a little edgy, a little different, get yourself some mushroom, nootropic mushrooms in the morning to get the brain going. So it's a it's a fun fun spot staffed by great people, and it's about a mile from Liberty Station, if that. So it's not it's not too That's far. Not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. I think it's going to be a good time. There's also some great places right in Liberty Station, like Slater's Fifty Fifty, which they do a hamburger okay. that is fifty percent bacon, fifty percent beef ground together. So, no. Yeah, so they're known for that, and a little birdie named Richard, who's sitting right there, uh, Richard. Has, has mentioned that they will also uh, give you a side of pork belly instead of a side of french fries if you if you order that. So a burger Ooh. with a side of pork belly, I don't really know if there's a keto a keto meal that's more that's more keto than that. Like, you know, people always I love the stereotypes. It, it is the most stereotypical keto meal I think you can eat. What did you have? I had a burger with a side of pork belly. Okay. I had bacon with mayo Wait. on it. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah. What someone someone the other day was sharing the the office meme of Michael Scott eating mayonnaise with olives in it because it looked like ice cream. Um, that yeah. might be more a little. That might be the most keto thing on the planet. But it might be. We're not doing a mayo war this year. If I have my brothers no. next year, I would love for there to be a mayonnaise war. But that's a whole different thing. That's a whole different event. Well, and here's a funny story. I'll share a funny with you about how it ended up being keto wars because mm -hmm. you and i have been friends for a while but years and years and years ago i tried to do a thing on instagram called keto wars which is a recipe battle and the way that it works is you had 25 teams and you vote up to the team leader by making a recipe and i just didn't have enough people following mm -hmm. me to play the game and i tried three times over the mm -hmm. years to do it and I just, I feel like it's such a good idea. And when we were talking about doing a recipe battle, Richard said, Dory, why not call it Keto Wars? And I was oh, like, yes, yes, I have been trying to. I was going to say, it's your, it's your, your baby, your baby coming to life. Finally. It is. It's my little mm, wee baby. Awesome. And you know what? I said to Richard, I'll make it cool and blue flames. And he said, Dory, go nuts. Make it mm. unicorns and cupcakes. Why? Yes. Yes, sir, I will. Well, that is that is signature Dory. You know, my very yeah. my my first Dory yes. experience, I think, was you making a colorful recipe with lights in the background. There may have been a smoke machine and dancers. I honestly don't remember exactly because it was so overwhelming to the senses. But you're not colorful keto with Dory for no reason. Like that is you know True. that is there. You know that is your you have branded that yourself. That's why you need a, you need a blue check everywhere. You know because there's no one else doing right? it. Right. 
we have to tell all the other platforms how cool I am, so uh, they'll give me a blue check mark. We'll start. We'll have to start. A, maybe at Keto Palooza, we'll start a letter writing campaign. We'll set up a table with like actual letters. I think yeah. that's how it works, right? You know, that's I'm pretty works. sure that's exactly yeah. how it works. I'm pretty sure. So I'm my pretty recording sure. didn't work. So uh, for no if worries. I promised you guys clips later, I'm sorry you don't get them. I love you anyways. Mm. Well, anything else, story you want to make sure people know? You know what you're Ooh. bringing to Keto Palooza, or what we haven't talked about yet. You know we've been going for so, a bit. I, I, it's a holiday weekend here in the states, so I don't want to keep people too long, but yes. I also don't want to miss anything. So I'm speaking at the event. I don't know mm. if anybody knows that. I'm excited. This will actually be my very first live speaking event. I've done awesome. some online things, and last year we had a couple of invites and everything for the park. So I'm I'm like this much nervous. And I'm mm. this much excited. Like, awesome. I'm a little bit nervous, but mostly I'm excited because I love meeting people. I mean, we've met at an event before. You know how Dory mm. is. Like, it's gonna, people need to get themselves ready. Like, they need, to, they need yes. to learn that if they see Dory approaching, there's a stance you need to be able to physically handle it. Yes, you have oh, yeah. to be prepared. I mean, I did skip through the exhibits singing the Chicken Nugget song. Mm -hmm. with Amanda last year, Keto Ginger, and mm -hmm. we had so much fun. Like, awesome. I'm going to have to tell you, rest up the week prior, because yeah. you're going to roll Dory style. Like, we, we're going to run, we're going to dance, we're going to have fun. We're not going to have any voices by the time it's done, but it's going to be worth it. Like, worth it. Um, the very first time I went to an event, I embarrassed myself in front of Doc Muscles. So also be prepared for that. I will I will probably embarrass myself in front of you. Love me anyways. That's oh, yeah. it's cool. It's it's expected, Dory. It is expected. <laughs> if it doesn't happen, I'll be disappointed. If it doesn't happen. Right. When right, people exactly. say Dory, you need to calm down in public, I say people wouldn't even know it was me then. Like mm. they wouldn't even know it was right. Dory. <laughs> and someone was asking, will it be seen on media somewhere? We are working on it, yes. what we can stream, so there will be a stream. How The full details of that will be coming soon, but don't worry. This is going to be something that, even if you're not there, you can experience. Yes. yes. So it should be so exciting. Things I'm going to be personally involved with is helping set up the cooking battle. So mm -hmm. that is going to be huge. I'm also going to be speaking at the event and I'm going to talk about family fun keto. So awesome. how to get your family interested or how to keto by yourself if your family's mm -hmm. not in. Because awesome. I think those are the two things that we deal with the most mm -hmm. is transitioning our family or transitioning ourselves without For our sure. family. And then there's also going to be the social media workshop and platform mm -hmm. meetup. So what we've done for that is you can sign up for that for free on the website. So when you get your tickets, you can sign up for the free social media workshop. And I'll be running one workshop for every 50 people who sign up. So if 150 people sign up, we'll have three of them. So it'll just depend who wants to come, who wants to hang out. And who wants to learn more about how to grow their brand with social media? Because I've been on Clapper for 10 months. Mm -hmm. It's my largest platform, and I'm verified there. So if you want to know how you can do that for your brand on Clapper, then you don't want to miss the workshop. We're going to have a lot of fun. And also, I think we're going to do some videos while we're in there. So, you know, nice. if you want to be super famous. <laughs> there you go. And I think on that note, that's a great time to remind people, get your tickets for the event, go yes. to the website, get your tickets August 21st and 22nd here in San Diego, yeah. make those plans. And we're just really excited to see everyone there. And Dory, I just want to give you a chance to say adios to everyone before we end this live. So, I love you guys. Stay cool. Definitely, definitely. And thank you so much for coming on today, Dory. Thanks everyone that joined us or we watch this live later on IGTV. Have yourselves a great weekend. I know. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Bye.